first of all, let's go check out the scenic view from up top. Dogs. Take a bite. Good. women babe <laughs> yeah okay so we just parked our car now we reached the Wat Pathad temple uh, just making our way out of um, the car park area and passing a bunch of these really cute uh, local shops and then once we get there we'll have to go up to the temple to pay our respects to the Lord Buddha Okay, so it looks like the temple is on the opposite side of the street. So I'm just making my way up to the temple now. Just got myself two lotus flowers and some drastics and candles. It's gonna be a bit of an exercise to get up there. So it took us about 5 minutes to climb all the way up to the temple, which really wasn't too bad at all. Once there, I had to pay the entrance fee for Sering since he is a foreigner. But the fee wasn't too much, it was only 100 baht. After that, we made our way up to the main temple grounds and as you can see, it was really beautiful. Here we've entered the main area of the temple which houses one of the most sacred stupas in Thailand and many Thais from across the country would often come to pay their respects at this very temple. The stupa is said to have been built in 1383, the same year the temple was founded. Many Thais would often spend a lot of their time at this temple praying and reciting Buddhist prayers, usually in Pali Sanskrit, whilst performing the circumambulation around the stupa. It is believed by many Thais that if you walk around the stupa while chanting the sacred prayers, you can purify any negative karma, thus helping you find the right path towards enlightenment. So we 
just got done with paying our respects at the temple. Now we're just gonna make our way downstairs. And then the next station would be the Hmong village, which is not that far from here. So yeah, I'll show you guys when we get there. The way to the Hmong village, which was further up into the mountains, was slightly bumpy, but the air up here was so refreshing and cool. We were so high up in the dense forest mountaintop that you can see the fog wherever you turn. After parking a car at a local school parking lot, we headed towards the small tribal Hmong village. The small village street was lined with various shops selling goods and souvenirs made by local artisans. The end of the street slowly opened up to a beautiful community garden housing various local foliage and flowers native to the region. It was absolutely breathtaking and if you're a nature lover like me, you would definitely love this experience. Oh wow, this place is absolutely stunning. village community is home to the Hmong Hill tribe. The history of these tribes is very interesting, but most of them are said to have migrated over the Mekong River from Laos. Usually you will see many villagers walking around, but during the time of our visit there were not many people around and some parts of the village were close to the public. Be careful. After exploring the Hmong village, we soon made our way back to the resort to relax and unwind for the rest of the day. The best place to do that is of course the beautiful mountain view pool at the resort. And as you can see, Mr. Sering thoroughly enjoyed himself. Oh, it's a whale, it's a whale, it's a whale! <laughs> And this is the end to our wonderful last day in Chiang Mai. Please don't forget to check out day 1 and 2 of our trip. We really hope you enjoyed the experience with us. And once again, thank you so so much for all of your support always. Tashidele sawadika. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!